The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 924 Tuesdays. We've been talking professionalized wrestling. Is that right? Is that number accurate? I'm actually double-checking that. Yes, 924 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social media in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here to hang with all of you guys here this week. We have a lone guest on the couch. A lone guest on the couch. I'm trying to find the button for them. Uh, Nick's Wild is here. The black black sheep. Nick's Wild is with us. How you doing, Nick? I'm doing good. We're going, we're catching up with you. You got gold, the neon, the gold, neon gold, if you yeah. will. The it, we'll we'll talk about how that came to be and how it's been um, re-identified, I suppose. Yes. Here with 880 Wrestling. Yes. So uh, glad you could join us here. It's, it's going to be a one-on-one session, apparently. <laughs> That's uh, fine. Yeah, you're just bringing all the noise. <laughs> I'm ready to be. I'm I'm a loner. I'm going. We'll go this alone. Uh, obviously. Riz is too scared to talk to me. He doesn't want to be here. Riz is really offended by what's been going on between you and Tatiana. So that we'll we'll we'll, we'll get into that too. Well, everybody could be as offended Oop. as they want. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem show. We're going to be talking all the mayhem things, all the wrestling things here uh, as well. But first, I got to acknowledge because why am I going to be eating on the show? Uh, we just celebrated the 700th episode of the Awesome Cast, <laughs> the technology podcast uh, earlier. So I got this cookie cake that Dave Ponder. So I need to get some of it so I can celebrate. So, where can you go? Do I get a good podcast? Um, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, now that's good audio. Mm-hmm. Now that's a good show right there. So I'm uh, cookie chewing ASMR with you, which also means I'm drinking white claw. So, um, <laughs> so this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so thank you everybody in the chat room. We're on uh, we're on the TikToks. A lot of people hopping on on the TikToks right now. Uh, thank you everybody that is joining us there. We've already had like 44 people jo- hop in on there. Thank you everybody over on the uh, on the Facebook page, on the uh, um, YouTube page, and we'll try to get into the chats for that too because I know some people may have some things to talk about. First of all, the thing to talk about there's a little bit of a show that happened this weekend um, in uh, in uh, London, jolly old London, uh, if you will. Oh man, I'm going to get a message from Vimmel. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and actually, I want to talk about that in a moment too. But no, all AEW's all in London was this past weekend. I got to see it. We had a crew here in the studio that we were uh, uh, watching it together here. I love these mid afternoon pay per views, mm-hmm. except when I have a work day. I'm trying to figure out the Berlin show I can watch on the way to uh, what the show that I'm doing that day. <laughs> if the timing works out. Can I just sit in the car? Can I let my wife drive and I'll just watch Bash in Berlin while I'm on the interstate? I don't know. You can How's just it? like set your phone up. I'm sure you have like a little I do. Thing. Set I it up don't, there and drive. Like, I feel so... I know how distracted I get. There's a reason I got a car play and this phone's right there. And I feel like if I put a... <laughs> like I can have a podcast with talking heads on. Sure, sure do that all the time and i feel guilty doing that when i'm driving through like pittsburgh traffic yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i mean like i'm just like man something's gonna happen should, and the cop's gonna see it and i'm gonna, I'm gonna be reckless driving no matter what happened right you should drive on the interstate watching television so whatever <laughs> you do like everybody's doing it i i i, I that's what everybody's i understand everybody's <laughs> i uh, i understand that when i do a show and it's live streamed all you so guys are wa- are watching your matches back on the drive home. I'm pretty sure that's universal at this point. No, no, I don't do that. you wa- don't do that. You watch it before no, you leave. No, no. I don't. I do not watch before I leave. I okay. Let's just like really quick. I hate that. I, okay, okay. I've, I've actually told people in the back that are watching their stuff. I'm like, you do that later. <laughs> like I, I don't know. Everybody to each their own. They can do however sure. they want. They critique themselves. Was it I, you? But I like to. I like to wait. I give it at least a day before I look at at it back because I'm just like, let me just relive it in my head. Yeah, and yeah. Like, just like be happy with it right now in this moment because 
because it's never gonna it's, it's, it's never gonna fit right you know yeah. I, like I, I i maybe it was you that i heard because i remember that has that's been stuck in my head when i see people watching and responding like i'll hear them in the back while we're still producing the show yeah after they came back and and and, and again it was either you or somebody else on the show that was like give it a day give it something was, you know yeah, exactly. it, it, yeah, might, it had to have been you me. then that was me yeah absolutely i was telling a younger some a younger person i was just like Give that a day. Give it a, yeah. And some people like to just watch their stuff and, and look at it. And they're not like hurt. For me, mentally, mm -mm, mm -hmm. can't do that. I, I, I'll, I'll be bummed out the whole night. If, <laughs> if something went wrong, if I, if I watch it back and I'm like, oh, that one little thing. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could have that back. But if I just like have fun for that night, because that's mm -hmm. what the whole thing is like. It's cool to me that I'm even doing this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's just my that's my. Tina in Seattle. I got. Sorry, I had. A, I just peeked over and saw this. Saw this. Uh, Tina in Sa Seattle uh, says, uh, "Nice, nice shade of blue in your hair." Oh, thank you. But you also lose points for the Steelers shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, she is. In I literally she live in, in Pittsburgh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Let me guess. You're a Seattle Seahawks fan. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> It's not like I was. I was sitting in Salem, Ohio, at a Neo Pro show behind the only Steelers fan uh, with a jersey yes. on, yeah, and yeah. it was the one that was like dancing to the Patrick Hayes music and just being the heel <laughs> lover. And I'm like, oh, you know where you're at. I get this right now, right? So I can't remember if I said on the show, but I loved halfway through the thing. Like Patrick Hayes is just kind of punking out and going out to going out all the time, right? Like yeah. like, like Patrick does, and then at a certain point, because like, the, the he had a very direct confrontation with the other guy. Uh, Eric Fallen, I think his name was. Okay. Big, big intimidating guy. And he's like, is this your guy now? And he's like, no, nah, I can't even support that. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, well, he came back around at the end when he won. So there was what? that. And so I love I love that Patrick Hayes like gained, lost, and gained again. Like this emotional roller coaster and watching this fan going in and, and the white. And, they, and, they, and then they posted it and somebody tagged him. <laughs> on facebook and he tried to friend me i'm like oh no oh no this, that, what have i done now i can't go to neo pro anymore <laughs> anyways let's get back to aew they had uh something of a big show fifty thousand plus no first off i appreciated watching all in london mm. without controversy because <laughs> mm. i feel like you know, we all know the cm punk thing uh, with uh, Joe, I want to see Joe Perry. No, Joe, I watched basketball after conversing with somebody about that the other day. Uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, Mike, Mikey Montgomery loves basketball. I learned oh, from okay. the so, so. top rope tabletop, uh, and we and so I had to go rewatch it because that was something I watched all the time too. Um, but uh, uh, Joe, uh, what was it, Joe? Jack Perry. Jack Perry. <laughs> well, let me drink some more White Claw. Apparently. <laughs> Um, no, of course there was that incident and, and it kind of started off the show and there was like this like terrible vibe over everything that happened. Sure. They maybe inflated the ticket numbers, you know, with, with the 80,000 and everything like that. I noticed, I don't think they mentioned the, t the numbers the much. They did not have an announcement during the show. Oh, okay. Cause, uh, like even, I think they said even with the, with the, you know, they, they did like something like 60 some thousand, not 80 some or whatever was yeah, like the yeah. word that came out later. Um, so, you know, they're playing that weird ball that WWE seems to do every year. <laughs> so, just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's part of the thing to like kind of kayfabe sure, up those numbers. Sure, right. Yeah. And, um, Bengals first, then Seahawks, by the way, just from the Cincinnati oh, area. Yeah. Okay. Yep, then yep. that, okay. Yeah. So one of those Ohio people. Then <laughs> even harder. <laughs> okay. To you. There I would rather is. you, I like, I <laughs> Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I didn't put a question in the, on, in the corner. So I'm going to put how's their hair as the question in the corner of the show this week. Um, <laughs> so, there is only one right answer. Well, that's there's right. a lot of right answers. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, it better be positive. Um, but no, it was, yeah, no, it was like good vibes with everything. Nothing really took away from this show in my in my mind watching For this sure. thing. It was um and and I'll pull I'll pull up some uh, comments comments because we had a mayhemer on the ground at Wembley Stadium. That was sending us videos and updates and how Wait. they felt about the show in person. Uh, and for those of background, again, as we were talking young Knicks before the show, we've been doing this since 2006. <laughs> yes. And in the first year we did this, we had a fan 
listening to the show who visited us from London. Wow. Vim. The legendary Vim of the Wrestling Mayhem show, who is always listening. Hello, Vim. I will not try to do any sort of accent this time. Uh, so, um, Hello, Vim. Sorry. Yes. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, you know what? You're hey. a guest. That's fine. Neil Nix. <laughs> You're allowed to. They're allowed to. <laughs> Um, but anyways, so, um, there was a whole, like, um, again, that vibe with everything, uh, the main event was great. Uh, and also like, I, we had this weird Adam Cole, MJF friend, will they, won't they thing going into this is, uh, you know, I feel like the, the Brian Danielson, uh, uh, you know, match lead in ending felt more grander than what we did. It felt like a WrestleMania match, if you will. It you know, it really, it really did. It really did. Um, and and with somebody who can deliver on that, and and Swerve was was amazing part of that too. You know, uh, I I know all the eyes are on on Brian, but we gotta give some flowers to Swerve yeah, for absolutely. for delivering that was, on that thing. Absolutely. So, especially um, to actually like make it feel like there were multiple times where I was like that he might win. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. I think he. I think he was gonna win. I, I was like, gonna win. I think I was more like, is. Brian going to win this? Is this a swan song more yeah. than I was doubting Brian winning more than anything? Sure, going yeah. into this because they were doing a lot of like, yeah, this is probably the end. I need surgery coming up, and they, and they played, and that was all part of the yeah. story. They yeah. played me like a damn fiddle, and then fired him up in the last three days For going sure. into it. <laughs> Hit the wrong one, um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it, I, it was. I thought it was really good. I, I really appreciated like that. And um, Vim went in the chat was in the uh, live from it. He had a, a a great piece that he talked about how it just felt like a big show. Things like WrestleMania are for the moments, and and he thought that they they really delivered on on what they what they did here. Here, here he, actually, here's the words right here, straight from Vimmel's typing. I believe wrestling should be about moments that, if done correctly, can live forever. AEW hit it right tonight with Osprey and Danielson. It's where WWE missed by holding on uh, to Cody, holding off on Cody, excuse me. Uh, good and good and bad, the moments tonight will uh, live with me beyond the last years of All In. Great show, and the uh, uh, with Omega and Copeland to return. The future seems bright for AW. There was no Moxley. There was no Edge. Mm -hmm. There was no mm -hmm. uh, what was the other one? There was no uh, Kenny Omega in this thing, mm -hmm. and it felt like a bigger damn show. It was awesome, yeah. And and uh, it, 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 I I was saying during this all in this year felt like what WrestleMania did ten years ago. I, I feel that, yeah. I mean, I definitely think that. Um, the way that AEW like makes moments, mm -hmm. well, I don't know. Sometimes it's all about like crazy match, crazy match, crazy match. But this really felt like a, a nice. It feels like they're hitting a nice little midpoint of like yeah. making these moments, making these like yep, building up these stories. Mm -hmm. Mariah May and uh, Tony Storm. Oh my god! And like building up these stories while also giving people, giving wrestling like hardcore wrestling fans like what got them into AEW in the first place, which was like, I want intense action. Yeah. Like, that's what I want to see. It was an amazing wrestling show. Yeah. But it did have that story. It was really good. You know, I, I saw a tweet, like, Taryn, how AEW went back on all the things they promised when they launched, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the quality over quantity, and they have all these shows and pay-per-views, and, and, and focus on sports and wrestling and not stories, and Tony Storm's, like, the example. It's like, yo, fuck you. Tony Storm is one of the most amazing things they've done in the last year. Absolutely. <laughs> like, like, are you mad about Tony Storm as a concept? Absolutely, like, the best thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm. Um, from the chat room, uh, Matt, True Prince Pro in the uh, chat. And Swerve, no sold that running knee strike from Danielson. I was convinced that Swerve was going to win. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was like, yep, that's Danielson gave it everything he could, but he just... Nope, he's got nothing left. <laughs> and then he had something left. That's it was great stuff. That's good stuff right there. It, the, between that, the the kids in the audience, the Brie, mm -hmm. we we're sitting here like, are we going Brie mode on this? Is we're going to get into it with her? Um, you know, he held. With I did you see Nana? What's that with Prince Nana? Would love to see Brie. <laughs> <laughs> Brie versus Prince Nana. Let's make it happen. Yes, amazing. Um, I mean, awesome. they had big entrances. 
the Will Ospreay, I, I, uh, my best friend Chachi is a big Assassin's Creed fan as well. Mm. And, um, I was like, you need like Monday. I was like, you need to like, here's my login, go watch the Will Ospreay mm-hmm. entrance. And he's like, oh, it's on YouTube. I'm like, of course it is. It's an ad for Assassin's Creed. Of course it is. And of course, Osprey has been doing this for years, right? Yeah. Like, like Wrestle Kingdom is always like this, this Assassin's Creed homage, but skirting that, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, unoffic- yeah, without- an unofficial Assassin's Creed homage. Sure. And like when they did the ninjas and I'm like, why do they have ninjas? Like, oh my God, it's a Japanese Assassin's Creed this year. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they went for it, and it was so, so awesome. And I hope one of those flipping ninjas is a wrestler soon, because I want that to happen. You know? it, was, it was really cool. I, it, it was probably really cool for Osprey. Like, that's mm-hmm. really dope. That's really, really cool to do that. He could literally be the Assassin's Creed guy, right? And Yeah. And, and like, the, the, the video, I, I showed Missy's also a huge uh, 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 Assassin's Creed fan. And um and uh she to the point where she was playing Assassin's Creed, uh anytime she saw a church, she's like, I want to climb it. <laughs> you know, when we drive around Pittsburgh. And then you know Pittsburgh has a lot of old it's church like, kind of cathedral yeah, buildings, for sure. right? A lot of them. Yeah, yeah. It's like the base one here, please. And like, <laughs> yo, wouldn't you love like industrial age era Pittsburgh as a Assassin's Creed spot? <laughs> oh my <laughs> climbing God. bridges and shit. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Yinzer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make it happen. Hey, if Fallout can do it, why not? Um, and uh, what was the other one? Last of Us, I think, did it too, right? But anyways. Oh, yeah, they did. Um, but, uh, but but like when she did that and they're like, it's actually like the voice of Enzio. It, or, oh. It, uh, 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 in it. It yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. oh, they got the voice actor. It's the character. It's like the, so it's like the one of the originals, you know, uh, that's, that's so, so, so cool. Um, but anyways, man, it felt grand. It, it did. did. It really, it really did. It felt WrestleMania vibe for sure. You know, it was, you know, last year it felt like AEW in a giant place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It felt a little bit, it was definitely a little bit like out of mm-hmm. place, but that, yeah, it definitely felt like this year they, I don't know. They're, I'm rooting. They're growing I'm rooting, up. They're growing up. They're, they're the, the, the yeah. little, that little company is growing up for sure. What was the biggest, uh, uh, match for you? Uh, coming out of that show um well i definitely yeah like i said like the only thing i don't watch a lot of like AEW like weekly mm-hmm. but i keep up on socials sure and like a lot of like the tony storm and mariah may stuff pops up on my socials mm-hmm. and um so that was like a really that was such a good match for me to watch uh could we Okay, hold on, real quick. Remind me of some of them. There were a lot of matches, <laughs> but remind me of some of them because mm-hmm. then I can, because then I, I will remember Let me that pull they existed. Up the uh, Wikipedia oh, yeah. page, and and, and and almost do that like like what I say they're doing WrestleMania of ten years ago uh, when they had a sixteen uh, person tag match. Oh God! Uh, followed by a ten person tag match. Oh my God! <laughs> that ended in everybody doing the Von Eric Claw on the other team. Which was tremendous. Yeah. Like they all had their great moments, though. It was. It's yeah. definitely a Andre the Giant Battle Royal moment where it's like, well, let's get everybody on the show. They deserve it. That yeah, deserves yeah. it, kind of thing. Um, you know, it, it was. It was. It was again. That was the let's. You know, it, it it was. It is like, a, hey, let's get you the Wembley. Let's let's. That does feel more. We're. Do- it feels less we're doing this match because the fans need to see a 16 person tag. For sure, yeah. <laughs> it's more like, yeah, you guys are part of this. You're the reason we're here. Yeah. You know, in some small part, no matter what, yeah. you know, um, there's only so many slots on the card that's already overpacked. Yeah. Let's put you in this giant, holy fuck match. <laughs> yeah, and let's make some. <laughs> and, and everybody had a moment. Gu- Guver- Gu- Sammy Guevara. Uh, I, we know my opinions on him on the show. Uh, uh, he comes out in this gear, uh, the 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 yellow and blue Wolverine gear. Oh yeah. And yeah, Brian yeah. Cage also came out in his gear, and they did a smir- Spider Man point moment. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's good stuff. Yes. Was this um, the pre-show? I this was the I pre-show. Did not, did not watch the kickoff. I no. Did not watch the kickoff. It's worth going back to and just skipping to the matches. Honestly, yeah. um, the the Willow Ishii and uh, against Stokely and Chris match was part of it. Oh, you know yeah. things like that. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. so and that was the only and, and Jamie Hader came back on the yep. kickoff. Yep. Come on. Yep. Come on. Get that. What are we doing? Oh, we're just setting up for all out in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> just put it on the main one. 
Yeah. It's free. You don't even have to pay for that part. That's true. That's so true. That's super true. It's like it's like an a, the AEW so dark in, like in the in crowd was still hot for all. Oh that. yeah. yeah oh sure, yeah. Sure yeah, yeah. Were, yeah. It was weird because there was empty seats directly behind camera, but everything else seemed to be full. That's you know, funny. it was it was weird. Uh, let's see what else we got out here. You know, obviously the main event. We talked about a little bit about the women's match. Uh, Pittsburgh's own Britt Baker and Mercedes Monet. Yeah, was a good one. It was. It was. I. It was quiet. Yeah. That crowd was so dead. That, that was in the dead spot. That crowd was, that crowd was dead. That was in a dead spot. Plus, it, it was a really gets... dead spot. Why are you going to do that? <laughs> that did them dirty as hell. Right after it. Oof. Yeah. Where do you put it? You look at it. Look at that. But yeah, no, you're so right. Mm. I know. I knew exactly what you were gonna say. <laughs> like, like, where where do you it? put it? it? They were. They were. Who goes after Will Osprey and MJF? It's gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever you are, yeah, it's not gonna be easy. It was, but, yeah, like Mercedes. But Mercedes has a following. Britt has a following. For I sure. thought they were here hot for the entrances. Um, and you know that love that, the Eddie spot. Yeah, love that. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. It was it was a good it was good for them and you know it gets weird when you have a four hour show uh, yeah I just felt <laughs> bad because it was so quiet but and that really affects me <laughs> if I'm watching it like you feel um, for them more right yeah well let's uh well, let's take a quick break and we'll talk more about AEW uh, all in and some maybe we'll talk some of the announcements that they were making also on the pre show if you missed them oh yeah <laughs> I definitely did. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, thank you everybody that support this show here, Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Um, I think I, I, I might there might have been some shifting on this, so forgive me if uh, if these are a little bit off, but I want but either way, if you just left this week, I don't care. You know, we're gonna give you some shout outs because you've been supporting the show. Um, thank you everybody that supports the show, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. You get uh, we have actually a live um, Patreon only feed where we go on a little bit before we're talking about stuff that was happening this weekend. Um, and then after Afterwards, we try to record something a little extra uh, for you as well. We get a little deeper. Sometimes we let people that are uh, uh, banned from publicly being on this show by certain companies onto that. Uh, and you can be a part of that as well. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, everybody, that support the show, including the friends at the fan of the show level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Ooh. Thank you for picking up on that. <laughs> Team Hammer Fist, Tupac Family, Megan Nelson, who I saw this Saturday, uh, Bubba Brewer, who had a show this Saturday. I started editing a little bit of it last year. I'm hoping to get that this week to you guys. For APWF, looked like it was a great time. Jason French also on that list on the Poppy Club level. Dave Propod Ponder, spouse of Julia, Roos Julia Fair at RoosJuliaFair.com. And bringer of this awesome cookie cake that I'm going to eat on the air again. <laughs> All right. And everybody gets a mouthful. Also, rats in a trench coat, Tony Kincaid. That's actually appropriate. The Riz. And at the manager level, Bradley and Tina Keys, the mother of dragons. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. <laughs> Nick, tell me, Nick, tell me something else you liked about All In. I'll watch this down. Um, I that crazy gauntlet match that mm. was like what an insane concept for a match. I, but I I love the meme where Mariah May kissed Nigel on commentary, and single handedly revived his wrestling career to come in during that match. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That was insane though. I'm like crazy to see Nigel McGuinness wrestle again. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. He was doing an interview like in ring like a week or so ago, and he's. I'm just like looking. I was like, yo, his biceps are getting big. I'm like, I was looking like old Nigel McGuinness. I remember seeing at Hammerstein Ballroom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, and he came out and like, he was, he didn't look that good in, in TNA uh -uh. when he was there. Uh -uh. So good for him for getting in there. Um, there was actually complaints. It was like, Okada isn't on the show. What are we even doing? And of course, he pops up in this match, right? Yeah. So, of course. Um, what was the biggest kind of surprise for you? Um... I wasn't surprised by Ricochet. Everybody mm -hmm. knew that was happening. Um, <laughs> I mean, definitely, yeah. I mean, it had to be Nigel McGuinness. Like, that's uh, there's no other, there <laughs> nothing else that's t that stands out as a bigger surprise than that. Um, really cool. Uh, it was a, yeah, what a cool concept for a match. I just thought it was a, because it could it could have ended at any time, right? Yep. Like you could yep. just like yeah. We we talk about it a couple times on the show, but I, I just love the capacity of this idea. Because they did a ver they did one of these gauntlet matches like a month or so ago on on Rampage or something. Oh, okay. And I love that uh, they came out of it, and whoever won, 
And then Roderick Strong was like, I was the next guy that was going to come out. And you you, you <laughs> pinned the guy before I was the next guy to come out. So the idea that there could be 100 people in the back just waiting in line yeah. and hoping the match doesn't end before they get out there. You know, anybody can be like, I was the next guy. Damn. You yeah. know? <laughs> you know, I'm just like, and you can be like mad at the guy that like took the pin or the mad at the guy that pinned and be like, I should have been the guy. You know, <laughs> you screwed me. You know, it, you know the pen, a great heel move, right? For sure, to be able yeah. to do so. like you could, And I love because um, no, I'm not going to get into it again. I'm just like the things where they're like, anybody could come out in the Battle Royal or it's a random person in battle royal and there's a screen yeah. with the flippy images and you're just like put the most ridiculous people in there i was like is rick flair back here it's, what you know and you're just like the idea you get when the th- match ends and you just like and the show ends and you just have this vision in your head of a rick flair who says oh i was not booked brother you know it's just something like that you know um you know that that whole kind of kind yeah. of concept to me is so yeah. wild uh when you when yeah. you kind of think about that like you're sitting there as a fan and be like why didn't Virgil come out or get you know, yeah. something? <laughs> so, um, he was on the poster. He was on the poster. He was on. He was on the screen. He was one of the choices. Oh. That means he should be here, right? Maybe he'll. Maybe he'll be here at an admission. Oh, where is he? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that is a conversation that has to have happened at an indie show. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, um, <laughs> I I love Ponder is surprised that TK paid for Final Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> had to honestly that should have been the dead giveaway right mm-hmm. there oh he's going over there was a he's great spot over. where um i think brian in the press conference talks about how he picked that song as a joke because it was list- he said he read something at it was one of the top 10 worst rock songs in some magazine he read and that's oh, why he started using it that's brutal but then everybody started singing it <laughs> <laughs> so he's like i'm stuck with this um and they're hoping that they get a discount from europe after fifteen thousand people or fifty thousand people were singing it exactly so, yep oh, God. um awesome well there's some announcements of course some big stuff coming up for 2025 one uh grand slam i believe it's february 15th if i'm not mistaken grand oh, yeah. slam australia is happening okay yeah i did see that um and while we already know that all in is happening in july in texas at the ranger stadium um Excuse me. Well, yeah, that cooking in White Claw was not a good idea. <laughs> no. Excuse me. Um, we'll take care of that in post. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, uh, uh, the uh, uh, they're keeping, because I know one big thing about, they were talking about the dates when they were back-to-back with All Out last year. And one of the reasons that they picked this weekend for All In is there is a uh, some sort of bank holiday. Which being, which is kind of their version of doing like Memorial Day, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you know, it's like, hey, this is the summer holiday kind of weekend, and that's that's why they put a big event on in it in the UK. In the oh, UK, okay, okay. So that's how you can get fifty thousand people. They're not working next day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're not working on Monday yeah, yeah, yeah. or something, right? Like it's a long weekend. You can do that. People can travel from all over, right? So uh, the bank holiday next year uh, is going to be Forbidden Door. Oh, okay, okay. So that there were signs um, showing up, I think, Friday or Saturday as people were coming into London. Um, I think Matthew from Botch Mania actually yeah. had tweeted it out. Okay. And they had the official announcement there with the date and everything. So it just said Forbidden Door London on the signs Crazy. outside. Um, so there's going to be some shuffling around. I think that's good. So it is. It's you, smarter. You can call it like. I think it's the general expansion. You can call it maybe, you know, a little bit on the coattails of, you know, modeling after what WWE does. But actually, WWE. They they are kind of paving the way for this, you know. And AW does have multi international market deals. Absolutely. They have a fan base outside. Mm-hmm. They're following that fan base, you know. And I think that's that's smart, you know. It'd be, I feel like they wear out a little bit, you know. Yeah. They kind of wore out Chicago, <laughs> you know. They Definitely. seem to be going to Texas a whole lot. Yeah. Um. So I, you know, it's kind of nice to see them kind of expanding out and do that. And it sounds like it's a stadium. If I'm not mistaken, in uh, in uh, Australia, they're doing, for instance, I didn't catch what they're doing for uh, London for Forbidden Door. I do not believe it's um, Wembley, but I love the idea that All In is. I was thinking about this too. Like All In was a big swing mm-hmm. that the Bucks and Cody took, right? Mm-hmm. The big swing was Wembley, mm-hmm. and then Wembley again, and now we're going to do a stadium in Texas. Yeah, it will be the biggest. It, w- it would ideally be the biggest show they do in america mm-hmm. when they do the all in next next year if it all works out well right yeah so even like uh grand slam isn't that big i thought like it was gonna be like a thirty thousand stadium like it's only like 15 maybe right okay so um you know, somebody's gonna correct me in the chat room any second well, now still, you know uh, yeah I, I like the concept of changing that too because why you don't have to 
keep. Why well, you gotta stick to this formula of doing the same thing every day in the year? Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah. All in, uh, and yeah, like you said, like it was a big swing. Let's just keep trying to take bigger swings. Yeah, yeah. I I am not a fan of hearing the advertisement for All In starting in December. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> that got a little raw on me this year. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. I was just like, really? It's like, do I have to hear this the entire year? Like it's <laughs> the only event that's happening this year. <laughs> um, but you know, it's it, it is what it is, I guess. Um it's it's a marketing strategy and it worked. They got fifty thousand people in a stadium in London. Yeah. For so sure. why the hell not? Yeah. Um, so uh, thank you, everybody, tuning in across all of the uh, social media streams across the board. I, this is our, I think, second week doing the show on TikTok. So thank you, everybody, that's tuning in over there as well. Not TikTok. Uh, well, yeah, I think TikTok and Twitter, actually. <laughs> so uh, open nice. up some new things. We're going to keep an eye out on your chat rooms and see what you guys have to say uh, on the show tonight. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a shout to uh, IndieWrestling.us. So much stuff is ah, Nope. There we go. Hello, IndieWrestling.us. So much is happening over there. Uh, just this past week, we had... God, what did we have this week? 880 Wrestling, for one thing, had two shows, uh, Friday or Thursday and Friday, um, that we'll talk a little bit more about with Nick's, about what's going on there in a moment. Um, but in the meantime, um, this week, uh, Neo Pros, um, Gold Rush Royale, just came up on the Indie Wrestling Network and YouTube. It'll be listed up for VOD here shortly this week. Um, coming up, APWF show from this past weekend. I believe it was called, um, not Evolution, Uncharted. I, had, uh, I didn't see if he's a part of the show. I knew he was present, but Henry Godwin was on the show. So, oh, damn. Um, and of course, the first one's up on YouTube for free, uh, including uh, EC3 defending the NWA championship against Bill Collier, amongst a lot of friends of the show, part of that show. It was a really fun show. APWF, APWF is, is uh, 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 out of the gate doing really good for this uh, reboot, if you will, that uh, Bubba Brewer's got going on down there. And good to see like some really good central PA wrestling happening, mm. too. You know, and, uh, and, and glad that we're a part of that. This week... Thursday Night Fights is going to have a, an Iron Man match. We'll talk about that in a moment, too. I want to get Nix's opinion. Yeah. Um, and also, I see there's so much, I can't even pull it all together. RWA this weekend, um, they're having the, uh, re, uh, the uh, Renegade Rumble happening. Uh, that's going to be insane. That will be live on Indie Wrestling Network and for members on YouTube. And then VCW is having their show on Sunday, uh, which I think one of the big marquee matches, I know there's going to be a last monster standing between the Beastman and Congo Kong. And they're also just announced in the last few days was Madman Pondo and Super Oprah. Wrap your head around that one, folks. <laughs> So have fun with that. It's going to be VCW Sunday, 3 p.m. bell time out of McMeckin, West Virginia. Renegade Wrestling Alliance is going to be 7 p.m. bell time out of West Newton, Pennsylvania. And all are going to be live on IndieWrestling.us. And, uh, and then even more stuff is happening next week. It's crazy what's happening here uh, um, you know, on IndieWrestling.us with our partners. And thank you, everybody, that's been a part of that. Um, like I said, uh, Neo Pro, one of the newest ones on there, APWF as well. Uh, we're growing. We're getting out of the state. We're going to now, but we're not even producing all the shows that are coming in now. And that's really cool because I can only do so much, guys. <laughs> my my dance car is getting full. Uh, so uh, great stuff happening there, including, like I said, the 880 Wrestling. Um, of course, Nick's Wild. You got a lot of stuff going on there. But before we talk about you, I got it. We got to talk about this Iron Man match that's happening here this mm -hmm. Thursday between somebody you know a little bit about, amateur wrestler Reese Hayes and the gavel David Lawless. 60 minute Iron Man match. Yeah. The challenge was laid down Friday at Retribution of the Steel City Killers. What the hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, for some reason, I do not know how. Uh, I don't know who signed off on it. Um, they just get to take up an. The entirety of like my show. Are you saying they're monopolizing? The you are the Thursday the Night Fights champion. I know now. the entirety of my show. Yes, for this little for for Reese to have his little vanity project. Okay, to completely ignore me mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. go and do that. I like, it's fine. You know, I'm. I do. I think I deserve the week off. So that's fine. I'll mm -hmm. take the week off. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to be there. I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Um, so, yeah, whatever. They can do it. They can have their little thing. 
it's gonna gonna, be fine. You're not going to represent. Gonna you're not going to preside over this thing. You're not going to. You're going to be watching remotely, seeing what they're what they're up to. Honestly, uh, you're probably not going to watch it. Well, well, does the does the you know this is a pretty big endeavor. I mean, does the winner of a of a sixty minute Iron Man match as you know that's a big that's a big thing. You know, are they uh, entitled to uh, a championship shot there for Thursday nights? I mean, you know, what a way to represent Thursday nights. We'll definitely have to see. I will say it is definitely uh, it's a cool thing. It's a mm-hmm. cool thing to have a sixty minute Iron Man match um, for the first time in eight eighty wrestling history. Uh, Oh, the first time in like Pittsburgh indie wrestling I can't, in like a, ever. Whatever. I was trying to think. I know I've done a couple, but I believe they were all thirty minutes. Whenever that yeah. we've we produced any yeah. of them. I mean, this is it's nuts. It's going to be a feat for sure. Um, it's just a shame that it's not me on my show defending my belt, mm-hmm. but that's fine. That'll be a big one. We'll Could see. Run circles around amateur wrestler he says in sixty minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah, how's your wind? You got that cardio going? Better, better. Yeah, I got mean, that. I definitely, I've got that cardio going. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. This is for cardio. <laughs> some people think it's, some people think it's a vape, but it's actually helps expand my lungs, and my lung capacity. Is that one of those? Uh, I'm cheating. W- okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank for saying the quiet part out loud. <laughs> Yeah, is this like uh, Danny Mo was on here a few weeks ago talking about going to Everest and how like she she had a, that that lung expander conditioner yeah. thing? Is that what we're talking about? Is that is that help with the it does the, the, is that it, it does I, it, but it's way better than whatever Danny Mo said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's great, and it just lets out like a little puff of smoke. <laughs> Can I vape in here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What, what a damn heel. Anyway. Ask af- they ask after they take the take the puff. Come on. Anyways, hey, well, let's you talk about hate, that. You're gonna hate they're gonna hate this next question. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> um well let's talk about this. There's been a bit of you're of course the uh uh you took you took the old gold after Remy uh uh, uh beat Reese Hayes, amateur wrestler Reese Hayes for the eight eighty championship. God. You might have had a little bit of a hand in that situation. Maybe a tiny bit of a hand or maybe a foot in that, maybe a if little. I recall. I mean, maybe a tiny bit. And then you you, you take the belt and you've deemed it the uh, Thursday Night Fights Championship. Yes. The TNF title, if you will. And then your your yeah. hair, hair now matches. Compliments it nicely, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. I think it goes really, we go really well together. Everybody keeps talking about your hair in the chat room. <laughs> they should. <laughs> <laughs> um, they really should but uh anyway so uh uh, uh next why you've been a little bit of an a-hole in the last month i think that that i think it's insane that i keep getting asked this question mm-hmm. because you only have to look at the proof mm-hmm. and that's why we're, last, we're setting it straight right at now the last year and a half of my life of mm-hmm. like having to you know reese hayes losing every single match he's in including the matches he's in with me forever for so long and then goes on his little hero's journey, wins a bunch of matches with a bunch of fluke roll-ups, and completely drops us, completely forgets about us, mm-hmm. right? And Tati trying to play this role of, of, of being in the middle and more so taking Reese's side mm-hmm. in all of this, which is just crazy when I've been there for her for a year and a half literally carrying her on my back L- quite literally carrying her on my back and i mean i, di- I again i i digress this is like this is uh the proof is there of mm-hmm. why i did what i did okay because now i have a i have a title i have a championship this is this is the, this. this is the you have you have, you quote unquote shed the the dead weight you drop the, the dead uh, weight the wilting flowers if you will exactly okay exactly. all right all right um so 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 obviously like this is um the, you know a Thursday night fights is is uh, well over a year and a half um approaching about a hundred episodes mm-hmm. of this thing um weekly probably one of the most consistent <laughs> shows my God I don't know anybody doing this that's not on USA. Nobody doing it. <laughs> it's kind of situation. I, did, I could not tell you. Yeah. I've talked I literally, to so many people and I'm like, this isn't happening anywhere, is it? I don't think so. Not on this scale. Mm-hmm. Like, it's pretty crazy. And we're very fortunate. I don't take any of that for granted. Um, it's very... Uh, I mean, I talked to like 
my friends who just keep people who want to come in all the time. People want to be on our show. Mm -hmm. They want to use our show to, 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 you know, get a rep, whatever. Like they, we are the hot place to be. And, and it's a training show. Like it's, 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 yeah. it's the, it's the T2T Academy's like show. Yeah. Right. At this point. Um, but there's, there's definitely a lot of people coming in and out of that and, and we're working with great, you know, you're one of that, you're, you're one of the original steel city killers. All mm-hmm. right. Um, so have, have you officially kind of renounced that, uh, now that you've kind of gone this direction oh, or, yeah. uh, you're, you're just your oh, own, yeah. your own, your own person. I honestly don't even know how they could possibly use that mm-hmm. nickname. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like I am the only steel city killer. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are, yeah. Are, we, are we? Is this? Is this? It's going to turn into a legend killer situation. Or are, are you going to uh, assert yourself through that through that roster? No, nah, they got to come to me. I'm the one. Like, what? This is my show. I mean, mm-hmm. if we look at the last month, really, I'm on the like one of the best roles in 880 wrestling history. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I will give you credit. You have, I believe, defended at every. Every week since mm-hmm. uh, that belt came into you know quote unquote existence or has been rechristened or however you want to put it, um, so because you know my my question always is like when somebody is kind of uh, I don't want to say handed establishes you know championship you gotta kind of prove the weight of it right well I think I, I mean, did that when I beat MV Young mm-hmm. the very first night that I decreed it that is true that is title. that is a pretty big swing there um, I mean that bell rang and it was. Sorry, it that's kind of, it real. kind of uh, king of, king of Pittsburgh. You're the yeah, at least the king of uh, Thursday nights. For sure, um, that's a t-shirt. Uh, but <laughs> I'm the monarch of Thursday. Nights. The monarch Thursday, of Thursday Thursday nights. night Knicks. It's Thursday night Knicks now. Sorry, everybody, but that 60 minute Iron Man match between Reese Hayes and and the gavel David Lawless, that's happening on Thursday night Knicks. It's not even. I'm not putting like a picture of you looking over. You now have to screen. rebrand. I'm it not. All. I'm not gonna. You, know, you have to get rid. Of well, I will have to get it with the graphics person, but I think they drink a lot. So, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we can get him on the horn in two days. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, uh, but anyways. So again, you you have uh, 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 using this. I think we were using this a little bit last week with somebody. Uh, you've kind of grown up. Over the last uh, since we had here, uh, certainly on this show, over Definitely. the last year and a half of uh, Thursday Night Fights, I guess two years. You were you're part of that original class, right? Yep, this is two um, years August first. Yeah, yeah. We, they, they did a uh, kind of a two year anniversary show in August. In, in August, or a lot of people were of thinking August. it was the anniversary of Thursday Night Fights. And yeah, we had to keep saying like. No, no. I'm only on the production. They're like, we've been doing this show for two years. I'm like, no, I haven't. What are we doing? <laughs> what? You know? They're like, that'll I don't be, think so. That'll be February, right? That's February. February. Yes. Yeah, I believe yeah, it's yeah. early February, if I'm that. not mistaken. Um, I made the mistake of uh, when uh, when uh, Reese Hayes won the championship of doing a uh, a best of and put the first week's match on. Man, that was a bad idea. <laughs> we did not have a lot together. Uh, I mean, not just you guys were so new. Uh, but yeah. also, we were figuring out how to shoot the room yeah. <laughs> in yeah. general, the lights, right? The lighting was still the lighting was screwy. terrible. We're still figuring it out. It took a long time, and that, I mean, I think it's a big difference. You know, I, I think you see that you know with production, but also like with you guys, you know, that week to week. You know, I don't know too many people working in front of people in front of cameras. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, like that. That's been why it's been such a very interesting. Uh, experiment uh, mm-hmm. over the last year and a half to see what happens. What happens when they get real? And <laughs> the, pro- the progression of 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 everything from seeing how much work has gone into the space itself mm-hmm. to the production and how much better and more fluid the production has gotten mm-hmm. to just everybody that's in the ring. And then we still are filtering in new new wrestlers, new camera um, people, new camera people, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, I mean, just to watch that progression is like so cool. I can say this, and I'll say this uh, uh, publicly for the first time. Uh, uh, what happened? You know, people know. Maybe I'll talk about it a little bit more later. But we did a production for NWA Exodus Pro mm. on the NWA Wrestling YouTube page on Saturday, yes, which I will. I I, I said this uh, privately, to people, but I think it is one of the best solid produced shows that I've been a part of. And we know the, the people that I've worked with over the years. Um, you, and that is a big part of that is because of that Thursday night product that we do. 
Literally, we were bringing people in through those shows a couple of weeks going in and say, this is what we need to do. This is what we need to get ready for. And we're doing it and we're applying it every Thursday. And, and, you know, I see a lot of similarities between what's happening with us on the production learning and what you guys are doing. Everybody needs reps to perform, mm -hmm. whether they're holding a camera, hitting a graphics button, setting up a replay or doing what you guys do in a ring. Even you, like probably just with like, teaching like yeah learning what's the best way to like for most Absolutely. fluid way for me to like give this information to this new person have you like, had the opportunity to 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 teach one of the younger students coming in um you know uh, yeah. how, how to do this craft stuff? you're seeing that right you're yeah. like, like it helps you understand that craft better by being able to explain it to other people yeah it's one of my favorite things to do it's mm -hmm. like truly like it's very rewarding mm -hmm. to watch to give somebody like a, I'm a, okay, I'm only two years into this, but I'm almost 100 <laughs> matches in. Yes. That's crazy. Like, I'll, I'll, everybody from that original August class, everybody except for me is at 100 matches. I'll be, I'm at 92. <laughs> for some reason. So, like, I'm so close. And I just, I feel, ugh, I don't know. I feel like I have more experience than it, if I would have, if I would have trained somewhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is not like a, a, a bash at anybody at any other training school. It's There's just, different philosophies I, I have in the different situations. I get more reps yeah. Yeah. than anybody could even fathom. Mm -hmm. um, but so, yeah, that's one of the most rewarding things for me is to like, mm -hmm. to be like, hey, you try this next time. Mm -hmm. Do this. And then to watch them do it. And it, uh, that's, that's just like really, uh, that's really cool. That's really fun. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, but they better not try to fight me. How have you taken, you know, hey, uh, you know, not to call it a turn, but a change of attitude. How have you been taking the change of attitude from the fans to you over the last month or so? Because I, mean, I, I mean, you've never been in this position before in your young career, right? For sure. No, no, I have not. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and it's they fine. they turn on you hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think you took Zeke's uh, energy. You ain't kidding <laughs> You ain't kidding. But honestly, it only fuels me because mm -hmm. it makes me know that I'm doing something right because every time I tried to pander or cater or mm -hmm. anything to this audience, mm -hmm. I've gotten almost nothing in return. So At least not without a My, why without a my Chemical Romance uh, soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah. They all <laughs> sing the My Chem. Honestly, sick of that, too. Good Lord. Most of those people cannot sing. Mm -hmm. And... They should all, ugh, I would much rather they would have just like, let me do it. Even you, Tati. Anyway. So uh, I digress. Nick's wild karaoke sometime. Yeah, you should. It, you should come to it. It's, it's, it's Nick's, it's karaoke with Nick's, but I'm the only one who's doing karaoke. Okay. And I pick all the songs. Okay. And, um, I get to pick the food too. And uh, I eat all the food. Yeah. Are they selling beer? You're really then, just then watching okay. me perform. Okay. This is it's just, and you do have to pay. Is it, is it, is it a ticketed event? It is a ticketed event. Okay, all right. Yeah, but no wrestling, so the commission's not involved. Gotcha. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 they can stay home. Commission's not right. involved. No right. wrestling. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I swear, that no wrestling commission. Not on the next show. No, <laughs> this is the no wrestling wrestler. <laughs> but I, I re now I hope because you know they brand the names like we have uh, David Lawless's bar exam and we have. Rohima's uh, big ass barbecue or uh, big ass summer bash or whatever, and B's barbecue. I got uh, can it, we yeah. have a Nick's Nick's Wilds car, uh, 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 karaoke carnage night on a Friday night? I'm putting it in the do world right now. That. Do not say that. I don't want Nick's to Wilds karaoke carnage. Hey. I will say it three times like fucking Sword. Beetlejuice. Ooh, no, no, you do it. Ooh, don't you do it? Yes, you're, just, you're ooh. just like ooh, <laughs> yes. No, uh, no, no, no. I will no, not. I do not want the name of my show to be that. That's a different show. <laughs> That's a totally a different, different show. kind of show. We're doing that at Brillo Box. <laughs> it's thirty bucks a head. Thirty bucks. A it's head. actually more expensive than to go to an eight eighty show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, city city entertainment. But guys. yeah, no, I hate the. I I don't. I don't. I hate that the fans have turned on me, but. I don't really care. Mm. It doesn't bother me. Mm. I'm absolutely. I'm killing what, all their what, favorites. What don't the fans understand about what you're doing? Because I'm. I'm doing this. I took this from Reese mm. because I'm his friend. 
They don't understand that. They don't understand true friendship. Okay. They just will never do it okay. because probably they don't have any true friends. Okay. I did what had to be done, like taking the dog outside behind the barn and taking this thing off of him because it just, it ruined him. Mm-hmm. It ruined him. Mm-hmm. Okay. As a as a like mentally, it was just like it was too hard for him to handle. Going not too hard for me to handle. Mm-hmm. And, and, and Reese has disappeared for a little bit and popped up and and is right off the bat doing this uh, this Iron Man match. Is is this Reese trying to prove something here after after that fallout? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's crazy that you would even have to ask that question because yeah, is it not is it not obvious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got to prove something mm-hmm. after losing his his sweet his sweet little baby. Do you have yeah. any comments about uh, Tina's asking? I love this question. It's coming from uh, Seattle. Uh, do you have any comments about what's going on with the Black Hand Society at Eight Eighty Wrestling? This big group of there's uh, a lot of people that, uh, on the show. Uh, there's a group with some familiar names that we know have on here: Matt Connor, Marcus Mann, uh, Ty Cross, mm-hmm. um, um, Edric Everhart, uh, Peyton Graham. A part of this. Um, and, 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 uh, you know, Remy LeVay also part of it now, uh, uh, the current 880 champion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love what they're doing. I love what they're doing and I love having them in the locker room. They're really great. They love to like give every, all the, all the young, the young dudes, noogies. Noogies. Yeah. In the back. You don't, you've never seen like them? the evilest noogies ever or, uh, yeah, they're okay. Brutal. They're brutal noogies. They're brutal. <laughs> Are they just like, yeah. A, okay. Are they just like locker room bullies? Is that what's happening? Well, I don't know. Bullies is a t- is a is a large term. I feel like that's harsh. Okay, that's harsh. I like having them in the locker room. I love what they're doing. I love what they're doing to MV. I mm-hmm. love what they're they're like running roughshod over mm-hmm. uh, over the den and the and fourth line. I think on you Friday. actually used that word right. I've heard it used like bad three times this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I know words. Um, <laughs> I went to. I was an English major for a year. Uh, for a year one year yeah, yeah, yeah. one year um and said english wasn't for me <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna try wrestling <laughs> i'm sorry i'm gonna try wrestling in about 10 more years <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a long gap year <laughs> i really just like thought about it for like ever like yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, um, but only in New Kensington. Only in New Kensington, <laughs> of course, of course. Not where I thought I would end up doing that, but not where I thought I'd end up living. I live there now. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, really, really, really dedicated. Yeah. To it. <laughs> is that a requirement of the school? Does everybody have to live in New Ken and move to New Ken? Is there like a is there like an 880 wrestle house? There should be. Kiss. <laughs> 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 Uh-oh. All right. Well, I, anyways, so uh, uh, Thursday night fights this uh, this Thursday. You will not be there. So great advertisement. Did uh, I answer that question? I don't know. Did I answer the black hands? Oh, the yeah. black hands. You said noogies. No, yeah, I, I don't love, know. I love, what, I love what they're doing. Um, you, you know, they're the probably noogies. gonna. Uh, I don't know. Who's, we'll see how far it goes. I mean, they're doing their thing. I'm doing my thing. I don't want any confusion. You know, I helped them out because. I saw what they were doing was, and I liked that, but I got to do this on my own. Everything. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Excellent. Um, so, uh, so with that, yeah, uh, thank Nick's while is going to be with us here for the next segment. I want to uh, talk a little bit more wrestling. What's going on. We've talked no WWE. I think they have a show this weekend. Let's figure out what's going on in Germany. No mercy. Is it no mercy? No mercy and bash in Berlin. Oh, geez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a reason AEW is not doing a show this weekend. <laughs> so, that makes sense. <laughs> we'll get into that maybe here in a little bit and some other news and rumors that may be rolling through. And, of course, we'll be waiting for that big announcement of uh, Nick Wilde's Karaoke Carnage show. <laughs> and we will be right back after... I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like to discuss from an LGBTQ lens? 
If so, A Gay and His Envy is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to A Gay and His Envy on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. We're back and we're going to find out Nix's thoughts on SummerSlam. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though, you, you kind of made a comment, but I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. I liked Okay. It was a good right. show. It yeah, was a good show. You're that. allowed to like both on this show. I want to make that sure. very clear. This is, a, no, this is a show about positivity and wrestling for the most part. Definitely. Uh, you know, we can have some opinions, but it, it's okay if you're like, yeah, I like both of them. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just enjoyed. Um, Okay, I like SummerSlam a little bit more than I liked All In. I'm sorry. But <laughs> it's not, it's because I've come to this point in my life where now I like wrestling. I've gone through all these different phases, right? Mm -hmm. Characters and story got me into wrestling when I was a kid. I didn't understand match quality at that time. I got out of it mid teens, late teens. I get back into wrestling because of match quality i start like mm -hmm. we got the danielson is get, is getting hot cm punk is like at the height of his popularity in wwe mm -hmm. i'm like really loving this stuff okay and then further further like wrestling is more like oh, i love these moves i love the the christmas the quality and now i'm like gone full circle back to like well now i just love it for the story because mm -hmm. i am doing it now mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that stuff is what fuels me and, and it's um i mean it, it, it yeah it, 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 all of it is i mean they're the people doing things at the topest level right aew yeah. is another one doing that at a very high level oh right? absolutely um i want uh, <laughs> WWE is the topest because they are the leader you know yeah in that it's situation. kind of hard to catch up on exactly right i mean i mean there was a good there was a good thing from tony khan i think like a show ago at the press conference says we are the challenge brand we are the you know you know coca-cola has a pepsi you know AEW's pepsi yeah in the long run and that's okay you know you're the burger king versus mcdonald's you know that's yeah. that's fine you know as long as you're not like my burger king that keeps closing every two years uh and so getting replaced sad. you know so i know i know um but uh but yeah i mean everybody you know we i think we we've been very you know beat this again on the show but uh you know wwe does story and presentation the best yeah aew is having we could say arguably the best wrestling. I would, you know? yeah, I would uh, agree with that. And that's what they hone in on. But they yeah. So got some pretty good stories here and there too. Definitely. You know, so I mean, it, it, everybody can do, everybody can be both things, you yeah. know, kind of thing. Um, so looking at this, you know, uh, um, WWE, talking about international with AEW, WWE has been doing amazing with that this year. Sure. Bash in Berlin, in Germany, in, in Berlin, Obviously, um, so what's <laughs> um, where is it? I don't know. Somewhere in Germany. Bash and where? I have, I have no clues on what town this is in. Where is this bash happening? No, it's just funny because I was looking for the title. I, it just says the name of the thing in Germany, but I was like, why doesn't it say a city? Oh, oh, it's at the top. <sighs> Kevin Owens, Cody, and the Buddy Fight of the Year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what is the what is this card? I haven't again. Oh, I, I oh get... now we're informing you. Okay, we'll get a reaction from Nick's as we go down the card. <laughs> Cody Rosa defending against his buddy Kevin Owens because he deserves it and he's not Roman Reigns. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's the story. I like that. Yeah, that's good. Sure, Kevin Owens does deserve that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gunther defending his new championship against Randy Orton. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I did see that. Yes, we, that's we, gonna be good. That's going to be real. Randy is having so much fun. Yeah, he is. He's, he said a comment last night on Rob where he's like, thank you, everybody that's, that's singing my music. I'm amazed it took you 15 years to do it, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I mean, that's, again, I'm not expecting big child chain, title changes or anything. This, These are things to make the champions, you know, established. I For think sure, you know, yeah. those are those matches. I'd be very, very shocked if... Gunther loses the championship in Germany, <laughs> you know. Uh, although I think he's Australian, Aus Austrian. He's Austrian. Uh, so, he but but Austrian. still, that's yeah, close that's, enough. Um, close enough. <laughs> I was watching basically a travel blog 
video from him today and and um the other guy <laughs> so um mixed tag match the uh the worst name in wrestling the terror twins i think they're called damien priest and rhea ripley against Liv and dom i love every week is just them almost just getting their hands on it just make it intergender listen I can't, please for the love of listen, god listen you can't tell me rhea isn't gonna choke slam the shit out of dom oh yeah you yeah, know yeah, yeah, she's, she's already gotten her hands on him several times now for sure right for sure this is i mean that's it's going to be Fun. It's, gonna it's be going fun. to be, and I'm yeah, hoping right. that hopefully we get some satisfaction of of getting her. Because how else is she going to get her hands on him? Yeah, taking on Liv is one thing, but he's the problem now, yeah. right? So, and then you know maybe for good measure we'll just have um you know uh, Damien give that razor's edge to Liv just for the hell of it. <laughs> just do it. Even she's a wrestler too. She's a, she can do absolutely. it. Absolutely. Even if they do that and like Dom catches her or something, right? Yeah, we at yeah, least yeah, yeah. have the 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 intention of it. For right? sure. So for sure. I oh yeah, that was the other thing I loved. Oh man, I just I love that storyline. Mm-hmm. I love it so much. I'm a sucker for that soap opera. Crap. I'm a sucker for it. I think the last time I was on the show, Yo, I talked it's... about how much I love teen dramas. This is very right. soap <laughs> opera, teen drama, <laughs> bull. Can I say the S H word? Have you heard the stuff I've been saying? I, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Bullshit. I just don't want to get you demonetized, Sorg. Yeah, fuck I, it. I didn't <laughs> make money off of this. But like, What's yeah, we're, I was watching SummerSlam, and I, whoever I was watching it with, I just kept saying like, because they kept cutting back to the um, to the Judgment Day and doing backstage segments and mm-hmm. doing the live and and uh, and Rhea stuff, and I was like, this is the this is the shit mm-hmm. that gets people sucked in. I know people who don't care anything about wrestling mm-hmm. at all, who know who Rhea Ripley is and love her mm-hmm. and literally started mm-hmm. w- watched WrestleMania because of her. And that's a beautiful thing. Watched this, have been watching this happen because of her. And I'm like, this is how you, this is how you do it. Mm-hmm. This is how you do it. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so, be a good match. Yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, I don't know why TikTok seems to be frozen right now. Oh, we're back. Here we go. Uh, so <laughs> I think that might be a little funky right now. We're still figuring it out. <laughs> um, but uh, so, yeah, no. And I think that, you know, we always call it a, a you know, quote unquote male soap opera, right? And yeah. that's what it is. And that's when it's the best is when they pull that off. That's what we For loved sure. about the Attitude Era, you know? Yeah. What yeah. was that thing? And um, there's an interview I was listening to with Paul Heyman. I was, I was listening to this, randomly, I was just started listening to, uh, sam's uh sam roberts podcast uh okay well at least his wrestling interview feed and paul Heyman, i think this is from the fanatics uh, uh event that just happened a couple weekends ago and, and paul said you know something i think is very key here is that like we are going back you know, what did we say about the attitude era it was it was wrestling vince i think himself said we are not going to insult your intelligence Mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. and that's when we got attitude error. and that's what is happening now mm-hmm. long-term storytelling we're not going to think you're going to fit because you could tell before it was like nobody's gonna remember this next week i think that was like a lot of people said that's what's happening when they're talking about the stories and playing the stories like, yeah. i was gonna remember this thing you did four months ago three months ago two months ago last week you know yeah and and versus like we were you know notice over the last couple of years we talked about a lot on this show was like you're watching raw and somebody's doing something, and there's a conversation happening between two people in the chat in the background yeah. of every shot. Yeah. That turned into something later. Yeah. Wait, why is that person talking to that person? And then like two months later, they came out together and messed somebody up. Yeah. Right? And it was just like, what? You know, or or Nikki Cross is just staring at people that's, around the corner. It's you know? like such a good attention, like attention to detail mm-hmm. that is so like lacking. Um Cause there could be, there could be so much more like, um, mm-hmm. yeah, not like not insulting your intelligence. Like there and, could and be so it, much more than, and there's a, a ponder saying like, you know, and, and Vince forgot that in the 2010s. I, I think there's something else you need to remember. And, and this, I think we are probably familiar with this doing a weekly product because mm-hmm. there's a, a, about a month ago, you know, so there's a little bit of rejuvenation on what we were doing <laughs> in the sure. visuals and things like that. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, we, we talk about backstage issues and in, in the venue and, and, and everybody week to week and, and people, like there's always like a okay we're gonna get things together and 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 get things together again because when you do a week to week thing I think there is not laziness but complacency that happens even on a Monday night fucking raw yeah right and I think you see that where like uh, you know uh, a, a case in point would be 
okay, we're going to go live with 205 Live directly after like SmackDown was on Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have somebody go out there and retape all the ropes to a different color and do all this shit before we go live here in five minutes on, yeah. on the network. Like, that's a lot of effort. And then yeah. as you go, you notice that less in, happening less and less and less. Yeah. We're going to start main event on Ion with John Cena versus uh, Sheamus on a <laughs> Wednesday night. What is main event now? Right. It's yeah. back to the jobber show. Yep. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's you see this. We're going to do this thing. And then it's just, oh, he's not going to get the, you know, oh, we're going to do a big entrance for Finn Balor. And give them all this, all this, all these theatrics and stuff, and it just tapers off yeah. after a while. It's like the interest, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Eh, we don't have to do it this week, you know, because yeah. it's it's resources and effort, and and you know, and I think week to week, you know, on a smaller scale, we see that, oh, yeah, that's fine. We can just do this, just get through the night, you know, whatever, you know, yeah. kind of thing, because it's just another week. And then you're like, oh fuck, we need to. We're just doing the show. We're not doing a show to get people to watch it for sure let's get a new intro that actually has people there here let's do let's, let's, let's spruce up the graphics package exactly. let's do this let's, let's let's start putting these inserts in here you know let's make it make it look like we give a shit about this show this week exactly you know yeah. and it's really hard to do on a low scale when you're a training school and when you have way <laughs> less people and resources the yes who are, like i mean uh, yeah they've got uh, so many people, tens of tens of people working on production. They're tens, they're uh, tens like of uh, maybe hundreds. Tens of people. <laughs> and but, but, like we got like yeah. you know ten. Yeah, we have ten. Yeah, I think that happens with every company. I mean, think about when you have a day job and you're you know. There's a reason I do something different every day. Let's <laughs> put yeah. it that way, right? Yeah, yeah. But still, even in that, it's like, I, am I going through the motions or am I actually building something? Is something sure. I have to ask myself. Like, you need to kind of have that shot in the arm. And and sometimes with like something like WWE, it's like, well, we got a new TV deal. We better spruce things up a little bit. Yeah. And they go, okay, you know, you can kind of <laughs> tell we're trying to spike the numbers here. <laughs> you know, versus the well, it's December and nobody's watching. It's all football Monday anyway. So why are we even trying? Right. You know, like that's that's kind of the attitude here and i feel like that is dissipated there's new energy you know it, it may turn into things get same same after a while with the same people you know it just everything needs a shot in the arm every once in For a while sure. you know bookers get tired yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. you see this in, in wrestling companies all the time you know on, the, on our levels bookers get tired and and it's like oh, okay i could do what this week i could do what this month is like you know okay a monthly show producing a monthly show is hard enough yeah for somebody yeah. managing eight to ten matches yeah uh <laughs> you know month to month and juggling the talent and juggling the storylines and what the fans are reacting to is got to be so hard and stressful i've watched i've watched people melt yeah <laughs> that are like like i'm like you like that that has shocked me yeah. over the years yeah and just to see that on a weekly basis Man, I can't. I can't. Well, now I can't imagine. I guess you can. <laughs> yeah, I can't can. imagine because we're literally yes, fucking can. doing it. I mean, that's that's a look into that kind of thing. How do I keep this fresh? Anyways, you know what's fresh? A strap match between CM Punk and Two McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> that is oh, oh, that's gonna be good too. I love it. Uh, I, I not much to say about it. I mean, we haven't already seen like like Troll Drew has been amazing uh, and For and sure. fun. That's that's the biggest matches. You got the women's uh uh women's tag championship um on Bianca Belair against uh what are they officially the Unholy Union? Is that their tag name? Um, no, sure. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting. Isla Dawn and, and Alba Fire. Alba Fire. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are they the tag champs? No. Who are the tag champs? That's them. The, the, the oh, they are the Al tag Alba teams. and oh, and oh, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, they've had it for a little bit now. I'm worried. So. I'm, yeah, I'm behind. That's I'm okay. Behind. They're doing like six six girl tags every week or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, again, talk about it's attention. It's hard to keep up with. Talk about completely. attention. Look at the history of the women's title. It's the women's tag titles. <laughs> it's doing okay now. They're they're doing more with it now. But that was one of the most neglected championships, you oh, know, sure. for a long time. I mean, tag team, the, the tag team titles for a long time. Everybody knows how. Yeah. We've all read what Vince McMahon thought about tag team wrestling. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't like it. So mm -hmm. it was always I just remember being like so excited about tags. Yeah. And then you, it just falls off. Yep. It just yep. falls off. Yeah. Ponder says it would be nice if they put more money into the new into new music. For WWE. I don't know. Yeah, they'll have them getting kind of canned stuff lately, I think. Yeah. It hasn't been sticking out. I don't think they have a good producer. Yeah. Because I, I think that CF money O whatever uh isn't around and you know 
or post Jim Johnston, and you know, I think they just haven't landed somebody. Not everybody has a Mikey Ruckus. Yeah, you know. And there was uh, there was a really solid time when they were just like coming out with absolute bangers. Mm-hmm. I like uh, Alistair Black's down mm-hmm. there was so good. They had the lead singer of Incendiary on that shit. Mm-hmm. So good. Finn Balor's still like. Rias. That's so good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and also, like, bringing in bands and stuff like that is really key, I think, because that, that freshens things up a little bit. I agree. It's not just one person coming up with tunes. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, Code Orange did Code uh, Orange. Bray Wyatt's yep. for a while. Yep. Oh. But, but I think they're, the, the latest one is still did Code Orange. Yeah, they did this new version, too. Um, so that I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know if I've ever found an actual track of it because I remember it was hard to find mm-hmm. when you came out with it for a while. But. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be news to me because I do not follow NXT these days very tightly, but I am. I do know that uh, NXT's uh, No Mercy show out of Denver on Sunday, a regular normal time of 7 p.m. Eastern, by the way, um, is going to be headlined by, and this is weird if you told me this six months ago, three months ago even, Joe Hendry... And Ethan Page for the NXT Championship. <laughs> what fucking reality is this? For real. I am so stoked about that partnership. Yes. It's so cool. Like, finally. Mm-hmm. I just remember the like the rumors of like ROH, like years ago, like ROH, mm-hmm. like partnering mm-hmm. with WWE in some way. And like, mm-hmm. they were using like, footage. Yeah, give good me bit. that. Give me that. And then, and, but now to have TNA partnered with WWE. So fresh. And then it gets weird because there's an NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez against Jada Parker. Don't know who Jada is. I don't know. Who not, not updated on that nope. one. No. Um, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, um, by the way, I got a side note here because Dean Radford was responding to Tatiana's um, note about uh, women's wrestling in NXT and storylines. <laughs> So, reminded we need to get Dean back on the show because <laughs> he had a lot of opinions on Twitter about that. So, um, but yeah, I, but it, again, it's perspective. None of us know what's going on actually behind the scenes, and Dean probably has more experience than any of us put together. Uh, so, <laughs> and also, and also, make sure you have a good sound man if he's around. Uh, NXT North American Championship, Oba Femi uh, defends against Tony D'Angelo. That'll be good. Oba is fucking amazing. That dude's. I saw him for are the you, first are, time at the last. What was the last like NXT? like big show it was Whoa. like it's, it was like a weekend thing was it that apex weekend uh, the ufc arena thing they did i think so battleground maybe are you an oba are you an oba feminist have you heard this before <laughs> <laughs> it's an oba feminomenon <laughs> <laughs> however you want to identify no but that dude's a <laughs> sorry Dud. like what the hell yeah he's ridiculous. what the hell you can tell you can see why he got signed yeah and he is fucking executing <laughs> <laughs> he's beautiful anyway uh <laughs> Okay, I think he just answered the question. Uh, <laughs> tag team championship. Chase U, who I believe are the champions. Yeah, I, okay, yeah. Nathan Frazier and Axiom are the challengers. Oh, yeah. They just lost those titles? I think they. I don't know if they lost it to them. I think somebody else had it in the meantime. Oh, okay. I, where are my NXT um, people at in the chat? Or the hell we out here? NXT stands out there. Where NXT stands out out there? There's too much for damn wrestling. Wesley and Zach Wentz, the, um, the radicals explode in this one. Yeah. <laughs> they did. They exploded. Yes. I mean, okay. It didn't affect me as much. I'm not as familiar with them as as a lot of people are. I know that they are like a lot of, yeah. Yeah, I've seen them a few times. I think if you're a longtime indie impact follower of them, that was a bigger deal. Yeah, yeah. But other than, you know, obviously Wentz and Wes uh, had a run in NXT for a bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, so it's nice that they brought Wentz back because that was like a weird, bad decision from like, five years ago that they fired him for. Yeah. Because that was like the, the the Nazi picture and stuff, like the, the mustache picture, which poor taste, but you know. Um but uh people can people can learn. Yes. I do think people can learn and yes. stop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bad things. <laughs> uh, he served his time over on TNA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like TNA is the correctional facility for <laughs> NXT, right? Yeah, yeah. Show title is is as TNA Correctional Facility, by the way. Uh I think is gonna happen. Uh yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a uh I'm a prison abolitionist personally. <laughs> so we I guess we gotta get rid of TNA now. <laughs> oh no, I gotta write these words so I don't remember. I 
forget them. At yeah, three in the I'm, morning I'm when I wrote this show. But I'm not a monster. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm an absolute. Radicals exploring will be the great. It will be a great flippy match. Yes, it just will the, be. It'll be just like WrestleMania five, but more vertical, <laughs> and less Donald Trump in the audience. <laughs> was he at WrestleMania five? He was at Trump Plaza. Oh, four and five were. Yeah. Oh, so right, he right, had, right, right, definitely right. had a presence. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways. I just recently, real quick, sidebar. <laughs> okay. I so I was recently on this kick where I was watching like every pay per view of WWE from like 2001 onwards. I can't tell oh you. Oh my why. god! Anyway, I made it up to, to like 2007 already. All right. I'm now I'm starting to be like, oh, eh, <laughs> not gonna do this. There's a great, rough patch. Great colleagues. No, no, no. You great sur- colleagues, the world heavyweight champion. I'm. I'm oh, out. I might be out. They, they, but you survived already through the Goldberg Scott Steiner eras. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Maybe okay. Because honestly, a, a lot of that was kind of enjoyable. Okay. There's some, like un- good undercard stuff it happening. was tough at the time but it's tough yeah it's still tough the main event scene not good mm-hmm. um other than triple h i mean he's working his ass off oh he's trying so hard <laughs> yeah that's why he runs the damn show that now man is working it uh, like uh, he gets so much he's, crap he's for, like, fucking earned everything he gets so much shit for like having for like you know whatever burying people but like that era poof he worked <laughs> same with like john cena versus great Kali. John Cena <laughs> is working his tail off so hard. He's trying so hard. But anyway, there's a moment. Uh, what year was this? When when Jesse Ventura was like teasing that he was going to become, uh, uh, he was going to run for president or some okay. or something. Okay. And he and Donald Trump's in the audience. I think it's WrestleMania twenty. WrestleMania twenty. WrestleMania twenty because it was in New York. And um, he comes up and he's like. A, Donald, can I can I expect that you will be voting for me this November for president? And Donald's like, you can, you got it. And that's so <laughs> and fucked I'm up. Like, <laughs> I forgot that that happened. And I don't want to get more political, but just listen to Jesse's uh, recent interviews about Donald Trump, and that's so interesting. Isn't it wild. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was because it was the year that uh, Jesse got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that was this yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, and it was just like. Poof. Oh man, that's <laughs> weird. That's weird. And he did in the interview I was listening. He was like, "I, I like the guy, you know, but this ain't it. You know, like, this ain't it right now, you know." So anyway, I, I don't know. I don't I know. So I don't sorry. know where I got to that. I I'm so how. sorry to bring politics in the show. I try to at least push it past Patreon, but I'm not. But this is part of the history, you know. I mean, it's literally part yeah, of the history. Yeah, I'm not so saying we, we can't not other. acknowledge it for whatever you think, one way or another. But it is a thing. WrestleMania, whatever happened, uh, <laughs> twenty. Was it 20 when yeah, they did that 20. deal? It was 20. In Madison uh, Square Garden. I, Where it all begins again. And then we just... Mod- line. <laughs> and then we just forgot about it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, hey, anyway. that, that amazing closing shot and all the good feels. Dude, my, last two games. Uh, my boy John Cena got his first title that That's night. That's right. So, that, yeah. Damn straight. <laughs> damn straight. Opening that, match. That's the good point. Opening match, then he got the hell out of there. There you go. There you go. I'm going home. I'm going home. Because the rest of this I'm might not be gonna a be a wreck. part of this. I'm not gonna be a part of this. No, no, no. Some of that wasn't registered as a train wreck until several years later. So true, true, true. Uh, that main event. Ooh, that main event. That's so good. It was um, oh my god, it's good. It was. It's so um, good. One of the best triple threat matches of all time. I know, right? Sorry. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. It's so hard to wrestle with. Oh. Um, anyways. Where the fuck are we? I died. Woo. Yeah, I took us. I took us on a ride. We took a, I, I took us have, on a little bit. I of might a have trip to edit there. that out of the show. <laughs> All right. Well, um, this is a perfect time to bring up a sponsor. It's like so Broadway surprise. Best brew podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. New York style user made beats for you. Carnegie, whole bunch of places. The original, right up the street, right up the tracks here. I think the train's coming back next week. By the way, it's been closed for a month and a half. Um, yeah, they're they're working on shit. To, to, to make sure it doesn't fucking go off the rails for real. That's fine. Uh, probably making sure the bridges don't 
fall over because that was a problem too <laughs> we're a bit anyways infrastructure ladies and gentlemen but you know what has good infrastructure of that perfect pepperoni pizza our friends at slice on broadway support them if you're going down to actually uh was it this sunday is taco mania not one of our shows but a great show are you gonna be at taco mania no I, w- I will actually be in raleigh north carolina oh yeah I'm okay. visit, yeah i'm going to visit my partner oh, there you go there you go so good reason taco mania it, it is a holiday weekend but if you're going down to taco mania our friends slice on broadway are right there if you maybe aren't on the taco thing maybe it's against your diet i don't know i don't know why tacos would be against your diet but pizza would be okay i don't know what that scenario is necessarily (laughs) but it could be something maybe you just don't like tacos you're some monster but either ways if you are at least support slice on broadway your good friends down there right down in the south side works what they call it now they don't call it south side works they call it allegheny commons i think down there oh no no so it's a different this is a different location oh is it south side works is a different place oh that's in the south side allegheny commons is uh Oh shoot! That's, is that north side? North side. Oh, yeah, it's a different, they're doing shit. a di- different, different. See, variety. I'm glad I'm not going because I would have gone to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> I literally would have shown up at South Side, and be like, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? <laughs> You're just at Cheesecake Factory. I'm well, I guess I'm going you to know Cheesecake that, you Factory. You know that lost John Travolta, Travolta meme that goes yeah, around yeah, that yeah. GIF? That would be me. I guess I'm going to the Cheesecake Factory. I guess I'll go to the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's not even a Mongo and Grill anymore. No, yeah. They... <laughs> Slice on Broadway. That's the point. Forget everything I said about Taco That's Mania. <laughs> Other than go please support Taco Mania if you're in Pittsburgh. Uh, I understand it will be done before the Green Day show, which my wife is going to. I'm not allowed to go to. <laughs> so, <laughs> unless I want to go to Detroit on Wednesday, Dang. apparently. Oh. I just, yeah, there's one in Detroit, but I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have the energy. Maybe. I don't know if I have the energy for this. It's like Hallowicked is the day before I'm leaving for a, uh, a, a, a wedding anniversary uh, slash vacation. And I was like, I could go to Detroit and see ICP for Hallowicked for the second year. But I have like a 6 a.m. flight in Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think that works. Wait, I just realized. I think I was wrong. Allegheny Commons, I think, is actually where the river next to the Riverhound Stadium. That's why, because that, isn't that where Green Day's happening? Wait, where's no, no, Green no, Day no. happening? The, 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 that Heinz Field, I thought. Oh, boy, never mind. I'm all oh, off. No, no, no. no. Allegheny <laughs> Center. That's what okay. That's... Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. It's up in the commons. There's a park up there. It's up that up by the Children's post. Museum yeah. or whatever. Don't worry. Don't listen to Nick's. I'm going to be here. I'm a fool. Look, you just got to relax. Look at that shit. I just got to just... relax. Time to find out. Chat room, what did you learn from wrestling this week? More recently. Chat, tell us. Tell us, chat. <laughs> Come this. on. Look at this over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Two things from Tina in Seattle. First of all, let's bring this up over here. Okay. First of all, two things. That, oh, God, I got get my last check. Um, getting old, guys. It's not working anymore. It's getting, yeah. Uh, we, we, we need a battle in the... Lariat, Battle of the Lariats, Hangman versus Nigel. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I want it. I want it. TK Book It. And uh, a very insightful John Cena interview is a great listen. He appears on uh, Shannon Sharp's uh, Club Shay Shay podcast. I actually, so I saw a clip of that about his Ooh. fake Lamborghini that he uh, took 20 years to get <laughs> um, that was going around TikTok, but it came up in my YouTube feed and I, I'm probably about halfway through it. Uh, uh, John, I, I, you probably know this if you follow him on, in, on social media. John Cena is the most mindful individual, at least on the surface, uh, uh, out there. On like it, Twitter? Yeah, yeah, on like Twitter and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But his Instagram is unhinged. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is. He's, he is two <laughs> totally different people. I yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it, yeah. But no, Twitter always got the best. Uh, oh yeah. I retweet it all the damn time. Um, I lost my I lost my idea. Oh, there was some some interview I was listening to. I think it was the Randy Orton. Uh, also, I love the Cody Rhodes interviews he's been doing. They're they're sponsored by that whiskey company, and they're on his bus. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he did one with Randy. There's two things we learned from that. Um, was uh, Randy has spent has like something like 120 hours in on Elden Ring, and and uh, and there was a thing he was saying about John Cena. It was like he's like, you ever see that the uh, peace peacemaker uh, and Yo, stuff? I love like, peacemaker. He's like, that's John. <laughs> that's basically he's not even playing a character at this point that's just john okay hold on 
because that's worrisome. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> no, oh, I'm just oh, kidding. Persona, no, but no, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, no. But peace. Oh, God. like hu- I, I think humor and everything. What we're referring for sure, to, for sure. You know, um, but yeah, yeah. It, oh, it's so <laughs> much fun, and and there's a reason because John is really just leaning into his personality. Apparently, you know. So yeah. Well, I, well, I think there's I, you know, Peacemaker is a character in a comic book that's two dimensional. I think. Yeah, that nobody knows exactly so i think he took a lot of liberties with it for sure you know um and i'm sure james gunn is like you're funny do your shit you know <laughs> he is he's really oh the oh, peacemaker's so good i can't mm-hmm. wait for that season two when we get in that uh, i think it's they're working on it i understand uh yeah. dave bonner says afternoon pay-per-views are wonderful i did yeah i did learn that this week mm-hmm yeah. like saturdays are kind of tough though sometimes actually you know saturdays it, can be tough it, it, as a fan as long as I wasn't setting up a show, um, it, 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 the idea that you could go watch a pay per view mm. and then go to your local wrestling show is kind of fucking awesome. It's pretty dope. Yeah, that's the thing that worried me about. I don't know, like Collision and stuff being mm-hmm. on Saturdays. I was mm-hmm. like, aren't you guys like kind of taken away from the yeah. places that you are taking yeah. the talent? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, know. that was a major problem. Uh, that was a major problem with some companies I worked with that did use a lot of AEW talent. Yeah. So, but I also, I think there's a little bit of a suppression of that happening. I think, I think AEW is starting to close the door behind them a little bit right now, uh, but they kind of have to, because if people are getting hurt on indie shows and stuff, that's a problem. You know, sure. if somebody yeah. goes off and they're on any show that like, you know, the ring isn't right and somebody gets hurt and now exactly. you you've watched something going into Wembley. Yeah. Well, that's a that you just lost money because you let this person go do an indie show in a bingo hall, you know, yeah. it, it, that kind of idea. Yeah. So I get it. Mm-hmm. I definitely get it. I mean obviously but I think they're still gonna have their relationships with like the defies and the wrestle revolvers, like the higher end kind of deals like that. But sure. uh but yeah you're right. It, it still is an issue. Mm-hmm. You know, I heard I heard Moxley was at Wrestle Revolver. This weekend, which is that is that's also infinitely interesting to me because he was not at any part of All In. Is he not? He's not hurt or anything. He I, just may, wasn't... Maybe I, I can't say that he wrestled on on Wrestle Revolver either. I heard he was maybe just there or something. Okay. Um. So this is something I just heard through the grapevine. I haven't seen news anything officially. So, but um, no, you know, but it was just like, and I don't even know who told me. So, um. But anyways, yeah. But that Sunday afternoon stuff's real good, especially as a football fan. Like, mm. that's like, oh, I love watching football. In the, it's just a nice afternoon deal. Um, God, what did I learn? Um, I we spoke to it a little bit. Earlier. I learned the significance of preparation. Yeah. Um, I I said earlier, you know, a lot of what, uh, we were able to execute this weekend on the NWA Exodus Pro Show. Mm-hmm was because of the opportunity that we have because of 880 Wrestling and the Thursday night shows and even Friday night. Mm -hmm. Um, Because we had a lot of the crew there, a lot of people have been leveling up because of that weekly thing. It's hard to train somebody from a monthly thing, you know. It, it, it's hard to do that um, even with something, you know, we've been, we've, had, we've been working with almost a year with Exodus Pro on the production, getting it keyed in before we kind of show anybody. Um, I do not know what the strategy is as far as the footage that we've been doing over the last year uh, necessarily. Uh, I just I just work there, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, and we've been doing it. I know they've been using it for social media and things like that, obviously. Um, but, you know, we... Um, you know, we, we put a lot of, you know, that show didn't just happen. And a lot of times, you know, the question, well, you know, pull the curtain a little bit, the question was, do you think we can do this? Should we, you know, swing on this mm-hmm. opportunity? And I said, I am the most confident of executing a live show with a wrestling promotion than I possibly have ever been, mm-hmm. you know, because most of the times, and, you know, again, most of the times I am going to a show that is pretty big. Mm-hmm. I do not know the videographers. I do not know the production flow. I, you know, and I learn it after time, you know, if I'm with them long enough and there's only so much you can do to pull everything together. If you're just kind of like one of the pieces, For sure. we have been working and communicating and building the process. And I will, I will state this Exodus is one of the most organized companies I have worked for on a wrestling feature uh, thing. Even when nobody's seeing this footage, we were doing TV. The yeah. script is TV. The, 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 
you know, the background is TV. I, it, like they are, they are, you know, much like, you know, we talk about Thursday nights is preparing you guys. You're in front of cameras, you're in front of audience. You're, you're, you're getting used to that idea. Yeah. These gays are like, no, you're, you're getting prepared to be on primetime television. Yeah. You know, like there is a learning to be on TV or being in front of a camera and there's learning to be in front of TV. Those are two different yeah. things. Absolutely. You know, um, and I will, you know, humbly say we're teaching you guys to be in front of indie wrestling cameras. Yeah. Right. And yeah. we're going through the process and I'm bringing down what we're learning even from things like Exodus or, you know, whenever we do pop up and things like New Japan and what we learn there. Yeah. Because that gets all of us ready for hopefully bigger and better things. 100%. Um, so I was really excited. Um, this is also, I believe, the first time that we've been able to bring between crew that we've established in the last year and then also bringing in our crew that we know and like. If I don't need to, um, if I don't have to uh, tell the videographer consistently what I want, we can worry about executing the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, watch AEW from the first couple months and watch a, watch the most recent Dynamite. Let's just say Dynamite to Dynamite. Oh my God. Yeah. I bet you're going to notice a production difference. And I'm not just saying the fireworks and the set and the lights and all this. I'm just saying watch the camera work. Yeah. I bet it's different. Yeah. You know? I bet it's all those people are learning their places and learning their position. And I say learning their assignment, right? Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes a fan gets mad because there's a camera person in front of them all night. I was like, this is your assignment. Yeah. This is their assignment. This is where they're told to be. This is where you're getting paid to be. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. that's the job. I'm sorry this venue is so small that you're five feet behind us. <laughs> and the ring and the ring is a low boy. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I there's nothing I can do about yeah, that. Exactly. I still have a job to do. And, you know... The post is in front of you too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're you're kind of in a <laughs> shitty seat, um, and we're doing what we can to not be a, be an issue. Yes, I'm very aware the New Japan Capital Collision is on Friday as well because I'm going to be there. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be doing backstage interviews there, so uh, gonna, looking forward to that because I haven't been to DC yet for a New Japan show, and, and I haven't seen those people in several months. Uh, so, but since Mania, actually, when I went into Stardom, I saw I saw oh, some of them. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, circumstances, we've been kind of out of the loop there. So I'm excited to go back to that. But no, I, I yeah, and that's what I learned is, 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 um, when you've, and also I, I, I realized this cause I, you know, we're having the conversations and how excited everybody is afterwards. And, and I, I realized other than, well, actually even a lot of the people that were on my crew that day have not been on that big of a presentation before. You know, with that number of people watching, that meant number of people. Um, like we were on NWA's YouTube page. That's so crazy. Somebody said that I, I haven't looked. I think it's like four million subscribers. That's so <laughs> it's, cool. You know, I mean, yeah, it's so whatever you think of them versus everybody else. It's the fucking NWA. Yeah. Right. That it means something. Yeah. It didn't mean anything ten years ago. We've talked about it on the show. I I think we can equate to say it was not did not have the prestige ten years ago. It definitely did not when. I worked for an NWA company in the late 2000s. Mm -hmm. Like, because I did. This is not my first time with something with an NWA name on it. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, they've been putting on the work and they've been building something that's been pretty been, you know, pretty interesting and getting somewhere and getting in front of a lot of people. And uh, definitely, you know, um, and, and there was an opportunity for uh, NWA Exodus Pro. And I'm hoping that is good for everybody, you know. Um, so very, I don't say this a lot because I don't like to use this word, but I'm very proud of what we did this weekend. I think it's the best looking, best produced, um, best, I'm going to say best shot show that I've been a part of one of, if not the, um, that I've had, a, I'm going to say that I had a heavier hand in because <laughs> I've been part of some big shows that I've just sure. been like the dude making sure batteries are full. Uh, <laughs> so granted, um, but uh, you know, you know that, so I don't want to discount people in bigger arenas <laughs> that I've worked with, but, um, but no, it, but this it's was very much more you. Yeah. It, more the, you in charge. Yeah. Yeah. There was a realization after the fact of how much, um, how, how well it went was under my control. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just yeah. like, I'm glad I didn't realize that before the show. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, no, you know, I, I, I say like going in, uh, uh, you know, I did have an opportunity to tech direct a, uh, a, a new Japan show 
Uh, it was the one where Willow won the championship over Mercedes in oh, wow. uh, California. Yeah. Nice. And uh, and there was a lot of that show. There was a lot of uh, stress on that show and, and everything and a lot of things that were were not going good behind, you know, well behind the scenes. Technically, you know, things happen, you know, things like that. It's two years out. We can say that, yeah. um, you know, but uh, uh, I don't know what my point was there. But But no, there was a lot of like, you know, this was. You know, this was this was smoother. Like, and 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 part of that was having the right people in place. So I gotta give the flowers to uh, Scalise. I gotta give them, them the Jared. I need to give that have been uh, uh, um, the the Exodus boys that have been uh, working with us. Uh, our crew, uh, Dan on graphics and instant replay. We do instant replay, and that is something that we've been um, growing at 880. 880 uh, up to this point yeah. has been the only one. There's a spider in front of me. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, what the hell. Um, it wasn't for me. That's for my wife. That was going to find out later, and then I would have to kill it anyways. <laughs> uh, man, I killed the good vibes. Um, no, uh, who, where, where did I leave off? Uh, Daniel Graphics, uh, 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 CL, and Rob on uh, Ringside, and then also you know just got all all that crew. Uh, it was great to work with Brandon Day, Bowtie Josh, and Linda. Uh, God, I think her last name is Park. Please. Don't kill me if I got that wrong. That uh, does uh, OVW. Um, it was great to work with Dave Kitch, who I've not worked with in a long, long time. <laughs> so it was good to see him again and work with him and have him in my ears on uh, ring announcing and, uh, and and all the rest of the ex- ex- Exodus crew that I just can't even get into. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, um, and I can't uh, thank you, uh, Gary, and some guy named Ethan Carter um, that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the opportunity to do something <laughs> very, 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 very cool uh, uh, with this over the years. And I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what comes next. And if those interested, I did not kill the spider. He's still out there looking at me, uh, taunting me, if you will. Also going to be taunting you on Thursdays and some select Friday nights is the Black Sheep Nick's Wild. That's me. That's you. <laughs> Where do people find you online? So, I, they, so they can yell at you online. Uh, Nix underscore wild on Instagram and on Twitter. And um, those are the ones I... That's it. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Those are the important yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. I least, do have yes. a YouTube page, but it's just a playlist uh, literally of just Nick's wild matches. That's fine. So there you can watch all my matches. <laughs> every good. Every time a new one pops up on IndieWrestling.us, I'm like... Add to playlist. Boop. That's me. Next wild matches. That's there's a bunch on there. There's um, well, not 92 because there's a lot that haven't been televised. But yes. um, yeah, for almost all of my matches <laughs> are right there. Um, yeah, find me on Instagram. I'll be talking a lot of shit about amateur wrestler Isays and mm-hmm. uh, Tatiana for the next forever. There so. should be a bonus, uh, bonus track commentary on the. On the uh, Iron Man match that we can put out there. Shoot. Yeah, I could do that. There. I'll yeah, that just get there. an hour long hour of me just. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look, look at this fucking guy. Sure. Uh, so, um, at Sargatron on the social medias, if you want to catch my adventures this past weekend and, and coming up here. Um, uh, again, uh, Thursday night fights the uh, last man, or not last man standing, the uh, Iron Man match. Uh, I will be in DC for a New Japan show. Uh, and then back up here in West Newton for RWA's uh, big uh, Swoggle will be there, by the way. I didn't mention Whoa. that. Swoggle will be in the house. I'm excited. I don't think I've ever seen Swoggle in person. Um, at least not that I wasn't in a WrestleMania haze because who knows who I even ran into those weekends. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I think it's probably Strowman walking into the field. Yeah. Um, who is the, uh, the uh, Gunther's friend? I, the, the, um Kaiser, is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ludwig Kaiser. Lud, 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 Ludwig, Ludwig, Ludwig Kaiser. Yeah, yeah. They're, Ludwig. We're, we're walking out of SummerSlam, and he's just like on a on a scooter huh? in the middle of fans. What? Where they're like taking up the thing, and and like M- Missy's walking by, and like just just beelining to try <laughs> to get back to the car. I'm like, it's a it's a fucking Imperium guy. She's like, yeah, I know. Let's go. It's like, go <laughs> fuck. That happened to me leaving a like an AEW show like yeah. years ago. I was uh, it was a Cleveland show. It was like the first year of AEW. It was a, uh, their first time in Dynam- uh, Dynamite at, in Cleveland. Anyway, mm. uh, we're leaving and uh, Wardlow and Luchasaurus walk past <laughs> us, and I literally I went. We're just walking, and they walk past us, and I go, 
whoa, <laughs> y'all, I think that was Luchasaurus without a mask on <laughs> and Wardlow. <laughs> Wardlow just, was the giveaway. Just casually walking past They're us. Like, There's the two largest men I've ever seen <laughs> just strolling by. Uh, Wardlow's, Wardlow's great. Wardlow's fucking great. Um, uh, hey, yeah, I, I, I guess Sunday, McMahon in West Virginia. <laughs> Sunday, McMahon. Yeah, West Virginia. West, uh, Victory Championship Wrestling as well. The, oh, Andy Wrestling, that US. The former home of Charles Manson. He's, yes, he's from McMack in West yes. Virginia. Not the school where wrestling used to run out of that we used to film. That was de- that was debunked. No, but yeah, he didn't go to school there. No, he did not, he did go, not to go to the school, school where the wrestling used to be. No, that no, is on our network. No, no, no. Because um, I brought somebody down that's kind of a historian. He's just like, yeah, this isn't the one. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, thank you so much. Stay tuned. Maybe there'll be Patreon. I don't know what our vibes are. I don't know what more. We've talked about everything. So, uh, <laughs> and Nick's looks tired, so we might let him go. So, uh, thank you so much, Nick Wild, for being on here, regardless of what you've done to Tatiana. Which I'm going to hear about for letting you on the show. I think I already have in the chat room. So, so like well, I said, I'm not a monster. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we'll be back next week. We are scheduled to have the, oh my God, what was his, the, 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 the something something kaiju uh, uh, beast man. I can't remember what his Japanese name, but the beast man will be here next week. Uh, the mm-hmm. man behind the beast man will be here next week to talk about the Japan adventures and hopefully he won't write on my wall. Again. Husk, 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 yeah, he wrote husk. on my wall on uh, episode 800. So <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.